Hi, my name is Edelson Roy, and today we're going to talk about Logic. The rapper? No, not the rapper. Oh, okay. Logical reasoning is a process of using a rational systematic series of steps based on sound mathematical procedures and given statements to arrive at a conclusion. In this video, we are going to determine truth values of conjunctions, negation, and disjunctions. Alright, how's it going guys? And now we are going to start discussing about logic. Now, logic isn't a completely um, impossible thing to do. It's actually quite easy. It's just deciphering on which if it, a statement is true or false. And there are different ways of doing that. There are conjectures, there are disjunctions, and there are negations of different things, of different statements that are formed to to um find out if they're true or false if you understood me there it's uh, it's pretty easy it's not difficult at all um, hopefully this video doesn't take too long but let's, let's get uh, right to it so definition of um, logic or the strategy of it in this lesson is uh, deciphering if a step statement is true or false the truth value true or false uh, so we would see so we would use letters such as P or Q or sometimes R um, um, <clears throat> to just um to like let's just say a statement right now, uh, for P. Let's say I'm tall. Edelson is tall. P. That's true, right? I'm pretty tall. I'm the tallest guy in the block. So <laughs> yeah, um, P would be Edelson is tall. And then the negation of it. The ne definition of negation would be a statement that has the opposite meaning, as well as the opposite truth value. So the opposite of it be would be Edelson is not tall. So normal truth value of it will be Edelson's tall, and then negation will be Edelson is not tall. But and that is a false. That's a false value. And how would you decipher, or uh, how would you tell if you can use the not p? It's it's said as not p, but there's also like another symbol next to the p before it. It's a squiggly line. I'll put it on the screen because I can't right at all on the uh, paint on it i can't do that so i'll just put it on the screen and let's get down to other vocabulary terms we got compound statements those are two or more statements joined by the word and or or uh, for conjunction that uses the and word so we could use p and p and q and then there's another symbol that goes with it for and instead of writing the whole and word you could put you could put P and um, upside down cone, I'll put it on the screen, P and upside down cone, Q, and P and Q. Um, definitions would be, um, um, and those are sometimes a conjunction is true only when both statements um, that form it are true. So P could be true, Q could be true, and both the statement could be true, so everything could be true. Or P could be false, Q could be, could be true, and that would equal it, the whole thing being false false and vice versa and both of them being false equally false that's easy um let's start off with um truth value conjunctions pretty easy stuff um let me give out three um examples okay so p let's say black ops 2 is the best game ever keep that in mind let's say hmm, Okay, let's keep on saying, let's keep on using, okay, Black Ops 3 is the best game ever, and it's been noted that it's a pretty good game by some people. Um, let's say, um, um, that, that the console that this dis displays on is, mm, is on Xbox 360. The console that you're supposed to play on this game is Xbox 360. Now PS3, this is a game that is played on Xbox 360. Now that's for Q. Let's say for R, um, this game is rectangular. It's a rectangular kind of shape to it. Okay, so those are the three statements. Now let's say, okay, we're going to use these following statements to write a compound statement for each conjunction. Then we're going to find the truth value and explain its reasoning. So let's use P and Q. Okay, P was Black Ops 3 is the best game ever. It's noted at, that it is the best game ever. It has a pretty good standard rating. And Q, that it is played on Xbox 360. This game, this game right here that I'm holding in my hand, 
this one plays on Xbox 360. Xbox 360, just so you know. Okay, so that would be the whole thing would be false. Because why? Because P is true, P is true, but Q isn't. Q isn't true because this game right here plays on PS3, it doesn't play on Xbox 360, it plays on PS3. So the whole thing is false. Everything together is false. So P is true, Q is wrong, true, Q is false, and so the whole thing is false. Now let's give another one. So let's say P and R. So P is the best game ever. And this bar is the, this shape right here. Is ooh, this shape right here is a rectangular shape. Both of them are true. P is true, best game ever. And R, um, it's a rectangular shape. So true. Okay, let's keep on going. Um, let's use one of the negations once. <clears throat> let's say P, um, not P. A not P will be Black Ops Street is the worst game ever. It's complete garbage. Worst game ever. Let me pick that up. I actually like that game. Um, it's the worst game ever. It's complete garbo. It sucks. Um, NLS key and for that would be negation, not P. So complete negation of Black Ops 2 being a good game. So it's a it's the worst game ever. It's a garbo. Um, and let's say, um, let's see. Q, the figure, um, okay, let's say Q, um, oh, we forgot what I said, um, that, I completely forgot, okay, and that Q, that, this game right here, you play it on Xbox 360, no wait, yeah, you play it on Xbox 360. Both of them are false. Why? Because not P is false because this is the best game ever and it is not the worst game ever. Okay? So that not P is false and Q is false because you play this on PS3, not Xbox 360. So let's keep on going. So you basically understand that concept. I'm using basic understandings over here. Let me turn my light, actually. See, that's right. That's brighter. Yee, you can see my phone. Okay, um, enough of doing that. Um, let me use my mouse and then we'll keep on going through the lesson. So, I hope I'm not confusing anybody. So, now we'll be using a uh, disjunction. So, disjunctions. Disjunctions is using the word or. And disjunctions aren't, they're, they're, they're pretty easy to understand. So, so a distinction is true if at least one of the statements is true. So if P is true and then Q is false, the whole statement could be true because P is it's a or statement. It's just it's picking on which one is true, which one is false. So either one could be false, either one could be true. The whole statement would be true anyways. But okay, let's say P it P is true or Q is false. The whole statement will be true because P is P is true anyways. If we're just picking from the two, um, even or if, even if um, both of them are true, P and Q are true. Both of them are uh, the statement is still true. But the only way that it could be false if if both is, both of P and Q is considered false, so the whole statement would be false. Easy does it, not hard. So an example would be. Um, uh, would be okay. Another example: we use my iPhone. We use the iPhone. iPhone is the best phone ever. The iPhone six is the best phone ever right now in the market. It sells for the best. And let's say Android is is the best is the best phone too in the market. So P is iPhone is the best iPhone is the best phone or Android is the best phone either or could be true not for certain which one could be false but I go for and iPhone so iPhone is probably is most likely the best so I'll say Android is false and iPhone is true meaning that iPhone is dominant 
and it's true and Q is false. But either or is still true because it's just picking from either or. So hopefully I didn't lose any proof. Okay, now we were going to start with truth values and disjunctions. Um, as an example for this, for Q, Q, and R, where you're going to do a another video game, you're going to do Middle of Honor Warfighter. Um, for P, we're going to use, um, for this game, there is no disc inside. As you can see here, no disc, no disc inside for P. For Q, we're going to say that the case is rectangular shape. It's rectangular shape, and for R, we're going to say that this video game is mature 17 plus. Only these kind of people can play. So, yeah. Um, for, so, what we're going to do for this is we're going to use following statements that I just said, and we're going to write a compound statement for each dis, um, this conjunction. And then find its truth failing, explain its reading, but hopefully you can just understand it from my voice, and so I won't have to put it on the screen, because I'm probably going to forget I hope so. I hope not. I mean, um, so let's start off. Okay, so let's use PNR. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's use PNR. So for PNR, we said that there's no disc inside. So P or R. My bad. My bad. P or R. My bad. Okay, so P or R. So we're going to say there, there, Medal of Honor Warfighter has no disc inside, or Medal of Honor Warfighter. Is has a rectangular case. Guess what? P is false, and I forgot the Q is true. But either or, it doesn't matter which one is true or false. Cause anyways, it's the whole thing is true anyways. Cause we're picking from either or. So one was false, the other one is true. So either or, or vice versa. And why did it stop? Okay, no, it didn't stop. Okay. I don't know why scram. Okay, so that was easy. Um, now let's say that let's use a um, I can't believe I forgot the name of it. Let's use. Let's use a negation for one of these. Okay, so let's say, let's say for Q, I mean, yeah, for Q, January, I mean, not January, let's say that Metal Water Warfighter, it does not have a rectangular shape to it. Does not have a rectangular shape to it. And let's say R, that this game is not mature. 17 plus and older people who can play let's say those or or same so so say with me no i just can't okay so as i said before q and r q or r not q or r so okay not okay it's going to be not q and not, or not r both of them are false because it is a rectangular shape case and the game is only played for 17 and older people, but nobody cares and nobody pays attention to these things, so they just play it anyway. So, but it is 17 plus, and I said before that it is it is in 17 plus. So both of them are false, which equals that the whole statement is false itself. Keep that in mind. Easy. And uh, as the conjunction had a symbol for, I missed my elbow. As the conjunction had a symbol for it, no one like, and it had the the cone upside down. The or has the same thing, but it's the other way around, and it's actually a cone that it's the right way. So I'll put I'll put it on the screen. Hopefully, I don't I don't forget. Okay, so that was simple. Let's keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. 